right, guys. I'm really excited to get started on this. I'm Caroline. I love to talk about money. It's this weird thing that a lot of people don't like to talk about, and I'm super excited to talk about it basically all the time. It's kind of problematic sometimes. People are like, I just bought this. I'm like, did you save money? Did you get a coupon? So that's that's my, one of my big things is I love to talk about it. I love to save money. I love to help other people to learn how to do all of those things too. We are going to get into some of the ways that you can cut your expenses and find new ways to save for whatever your goals are, whether they are saving money, investing, paying off debt, buying a lake house, going to travel once when everything can open up, getting a new bag, whatever it is, whatever your goals are, we want to help you make those things into a reality. Because this is a subject that can get really, really heavy really, really quickly if we're not careful. And I don't want that to happen to you. I want you to be super excited about this. And the best way that I know to help you stay excited about the topic of finances is to start with something fun. What are your goals? I mean, like we're talking like, what are your goals for the end of this year, for next year, for five years, for 10 years, whatever it is, you need to figure out what is your goal? Because this is something that will help you to keep yourself going forward when things get hard. And that's one of my favorite thing about goals is that we all have different goals. All that matters about your goals is that they move you forward. I don't want you to skip this step about coming up with goals because I know that there's going to be people who are like, this is just dumb. Just tell me about how I can save money. I get it. But the reason that I want you to, to do this is because this is something that's really important because it can get really heavy. It can get really hard. And I'll be honest, like it can get frustrating. It can get downright depressing. So I want you to get a goal in your mind, stick it in your brain, like hold on to it and let it help you stay motivated and propel yourself forward. Because again, it, it can get really hard. It can get really heavy. And I don't want that to be the reason that you stop. Whatever your goal is, make it your goal. Not the thing that you're supposed to have, not the right thing. What is your goal? Even for paying off debt. Guys, why do you want to pay off debt? Why do you want to pay off debt? Is it so that you can move to a different place? Is it so that you can go travel the world with your family? Is it so that you can retire early? Is it so that you can buy a nicer house? Is it so that you can raise your credit score to buy a nicer house? All of these things, I want you to figure out that one thing because it's not enough to just say, I want to build a savings account. I want to get out of debt. Why? Why do you want to do those things? That's what I want you to dig into because that, again, is going to be the thing that helps you move forward when it gets hard. It will keep you getting back on track when you slip up because slip ups will happen. But if you can find a way to keep your mind set on your goal, eyes on the prize, guys, that's the name of the game here. The goal is, the goal of the goal setting is to remember, remind yourself why you're starting. You can write it down. You can put it on a post-it. I'm really kind of woo-woo. I have a little, my background on my computer screen is my why. That's what I call it is my why are my goals. I want to travel. I want to have a nice car. I want to have a nicer house. I want to take my kids to New Zealand. I've got big plans and I keep it front and center to help me stay focused Whenever I'm tempted to go onto Amazon and buy something or spend what I don't have in the budget, I can keep my eyes on my goal. 